Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. This is Mark. Check her out. So, hi guys, how are you doing? Today I'm in Epcot in Walt Disney World, and I'm about to go on a very fun journey, hopefully, to do a little scavenger hunt with Figment. So, this here in my hand is a map. It's called Disney Figment's Brush with the Masters. Um, the reason that the scavenger hunt is existing at the moment is because of the Festival of the Arts happening in Epcot which happens from the beginning of, or the middle of January until the middle of February. Um, I think I started it only a couple of years ago and I think this is quite, still quite new, one of the first few years of it. And um, basically I've done a similar thing before where for um, Easter you can like get one of these maps again at Epcot and go and do like an egg hunt. But this time, because the Festival of the Arts, we're going around all the countries in the World Showcase and we're looking for different arts in each pavilion. Um, and this is basically where you can buy your map, Disney Sigmund's Brush with the Masters, map available here. It's $8.99 plus tax. This is what the map looks like if you want to see it in, big, in a bigger format. And these are the different art pieces that we have to find in different countries. So I've got my map here and I have to open it. We've got the stickers on the behind bit on the back. Um, this is the pin uh, area, by the way, in just outside the Epcot wall. If you're wondering where to get one, I think you can probably get them in other places as well. But this is the main bit, main part where you can find any of the kind of treasure hunts or egg hunts or art hunts or whatever they are. Um, if you want to participate in this fun journey, just something different to do, you know. Because you know, there's loads of stuff to do here, like food and characters and rides. But if you're here for a long time, we just, just want to do something different. If you just enjoy looking for things, which I really do, I'm quite bad at it, but I do enjoy just having a little adventure. Um, it's quite a fun journey. So I thought I'd bring you along the journey with me. We can go and look for all these pieces of art together. Hopefully, it will be a chance for me to show you some of the world circus as well, in different countries and stuff. It's such a, it's my favorite part of Epcot anyway. So um, hopefully, it'll be a fun fun video for both of us. So Epcot is a pretty weird park in the sense that one side of it is really beautiful, and one side of it, the side I'm going away from right now. In my opinion, it's very ugly. Like it just looks like institutions and and labs. I mean, I know that's the point of it, but I just it's not very appealing to me as a park. Like it's not something I want a place I want to hang out. If that makes any sense. Um, but that's the future side of it, and obviously that the area that's pretty is the World Showcase, which is where we're heading off right now. And then there's two ways to do World Showcase. Obviously, you can either go from the right hand side, start from there, or the left hand side. I normally go from the left hand side which starts with Mexico just because, I don't know, I normally like to do things clockwise and that's kind of how clockwise works from left to right. Um, but some people like to do it from the other side which is Canada, they start from Canada. Leave comments down below if you're a big Epcot fan and you care about this. Like I don't care at all to be honest, I just normally tend to go from that side just out of habit. But if you do have, if you're very passionate about the, you know, which way you should start with, leave comments down below let me know which, which um, where you normally go from. I know that Carrie Fletcher, I think, I I think I to go from the Mexico side, I might be wrong. She's mentioned this in her videos before. Carrie Hope Fletcher, who you guys probably all know, she's a YouTuber and an amazing uh, performer as well. Um, anyway, we're off to Mexico right now, the first pavilion. I don't know which of these I'm gonna be able to find there. It's gonna be one of them, obviously, whichever one I find, I'm gonna have to put on the Mexico bit on the map. So hopefully it's not gonna be too difficult. Whilst we're here, I thought I'd show you some of the snacks they've got going on here for the Festival of the Arts. Um, this stand here has uh, some called Crop Eats. And of all of these, the one that like, stands out to me the most is this one because it looks absolutely beautiful. It literally looks like a work of art. And I was gonna get it, however, then I realized that it's filled with raspberry jam. And I'm not a fan of raspberry, and I'm not a fan of jam either. So unfortunately, it's gonna have to not be a, a case for me today, even though I really was looking forward to having it. But I am pretty hungry, so I feel like at one point throughout the scavenger hunt, we are gonna have to sit down and have something to eat. Guys, I just spent about 10 minutes in the Mexican restaurant bit. I don't know what it's called. Just the thing over there. The main, basically, pyramid thing in Mexico. Um, thinking it might be there, because last time I found the egg in there. And then I was like, oh, I gave up. I was like, oh my God, it's probably somewhere outside then. And I'm about to leave, and I see this. And I'm pretty sure that's one of our, yes it is, this is the painting. So we found our number one, our very first one. It's just inside the Mexican pavilion. On your right when you come. It's funny because you won't see it when you come in because you just kind of look forward. But when you leave, obviously, like normally come in, you, know, you kind of look in front of you, you really look to your right. That's actually very clever. Of them. But obviously when you're leaving, you see it there. So I'm gonna do the sticker now. Mexico. This is the one we found, right? I'm pretty sure that's the one we found. Um, let's take it off. Oh. And put it, stick it on. Mexico. Let's try and do it as neatly as possible. Ah, uh, I think that looks pretty good. So we've got one out of 11 now, 10 more to go. We are now in Norway, which is one of my favorite pavilions here in uh, the World Showcase of Epcot. And I thought whilst we're here, you know, we might as well go and say hi to Anna and Elsa. It'd be rude not to, they're just chilling here. And I haven't seen them at all on this holiday, so 
So I'd go say hi to them in their house. How are you, Anna? You are alright? <laughs>
Germany is a great country generally. I've been to Germany multiple times. I've not been to any of the major cities, though. like I've been to Frankfurt, but not Berlin, which is like a place I really want to go to one day. Um, let's go to the shop and see if we can find anything in the shop. I love my life so much right now, so I think if I remember correctly last time with the egg hunt, the egg was hidden somewhere here. I might be completely wrong, but I feel like it was in this section of the shop. And I went to see if the painting might be there as well. Again, obviously I was looking forward, so I didn't see what was going on behind me. Turned around, kind of disappointed that I couldn't find it here. And I just saw it literally here. <laughs> it's funny how they do that, like you have to literally look everywhere. So there you go, the painting's here. And it's, um, oh Lord have mercy, which one is it? Okay, it's this one here. That's the real artwork. And there's just Figman looking absolutely smug and absolutely annoying with... Oh, I just, I just don't like Figman, guys. Sorry if you love the guy. I just find him so annoying. I mean, he's cute in some ways, but anyway. He's there, we've got this, we can put this on. We are now in Italy, and I've just come out of that shop over there. It's a really small shop that I don't think I've ever been to before, and it's got some really cute stuff, actually. Uh, Italy, again, is a village that I've not explored properly. Um, I feel like whenever I come to Epcot, I spend most of my time either in Morocco, Norway, or Mexico actually for some reason mainly Morocco because it's my favourite pavilion of all of them and there's some that I just haven't managed to explore as much because they're actually very big ones as well anyway that shop didn't have it so I'm coming to the other shop uh, on the other side and hopefully it should I found it guys I have found it and I'm so happy oh figment I've never been happier to see your face and it's the Mona Lisa look at figment over there pretending to be the Mona Lisa that is actually kind of funny I really enjoy this shout out to my friend Marie who loves figment quotation marks but um yeah for some reason i was expecting to find the mona lisa in france just because the mona lisa painting is in the louvre museum in paris but of course it would be in uh, italy because it's actually painted by da vinci who's italian so that makes a lot more sense so we're gonna i'm just literally by a bin i'm gonna put you guys down and put the sticker on of um the mona lisa oh, mona lisa looks so much better than figment or the figment I, I think i could think figment could pull it off actually it could be a nice mona lisa so we've got italy here Let's take Mona Lisa out of his uh, horror, sorry, um, painting thing and put it on Italy. Oh my god, I can't do this badly. Uh, this is the worst one yet. It doesn't matter though, it's still on here. We've still seen Figman. The fact that I've seen Figman pose as Mona Lisa has made my day already. We are now walking to the American Adventure Pavilion, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, the American Adventure, um, which is basically the American Pavilion. Another place that I've hardly spent any time in. Although, when we were here on our first day in Epcot, um, on this particular trip, I did end up spending quite a bit of time here to see a concert, which is this concert over here. It was a Broad Disney on Broadway concert. And Cara Lindsay, as you can probably see over there, um, she's one of my favorite performers of all time. She's amazing. I saw her in Newsies in 2013 on Broadway with Corey Cott, and it was fantastic, and she was brilliant. And I just, it was a dream to see her again live literally on that stage so if you want to see a bit of that performance just then you know my thoughts on it and stuff you should check out one of my disney world vlogs there's three parts you know just go on my channel i think it might be in part two actually um but i'll try and remember to leave the link down below as well for you guys i've just found the one in america and there it is where's figment oh yeah of course chilling over there as always that's the one that we have the actual painting of course and um, this was actually kind of easy compared to the other ones. Easy because I feel like American Pavilion is quite small and really the only two things that I feel like they could have been in were either the American Adventure which me, Ellie and uh, Marie went through the other day uh, and I didn't see it there from what I could remember so I just didn't even bother going in there. It's basically like a attraction thing and I feel like it couldn't have been there anyway because normally they tend to put them in places that anyone would go on a regular basis and not many people would go inside that building unless they want to go on an attraction kind of thing so that's the only shop that I found in the American Pavilion. I went in there, had a quick look, it was a very small shop as well. And then I found it, so I'm very happy with my life right now. Let's peel it off. And put it on the American. This is so hard to do. I'm literally looking at myself on the camera, guys, in the viewfinder. Ah! Uh, doesn't look the best again, but it's okay, life goes on. I've just realized we're over halfway through now. We've only got five left, and the next stop is Japan, which is one of my favorite pavilions again. So life is good, and after that, we're going to Morocco. So basically, things from now on are gonna just be looking up, hopefully. Lord have mercy, this place is beautiful, guys. It's my dream to go to Japan, it's gonna happen. I feel like 2019, hopefully, is gonna be the year for it. There's a performance going on there as well. Oh, 
overwhelming. Literally, this shop is like one of the biggest shops in any of the pavilions, and it is full of adorable stuff. Shout out to my friend Sharika, she loves Japan as well. She actually wants to move there one day, that's one of her dreams. But it's just, oh, just kawaii. Everything is very, very cute here. Look at all these beautiful Japanese outfits. I'm sure they've got a name, but for some reason I've forgotten what they're called. They are very, very good. Smells lovely here. I wish my vision was a thing because it's just beautiful right now. You guys will laugh at me. Literally, I just went in there to show you the outfits and stuff. And the paint thing is just here when you come out on the left. Again, when I went in, I didn't look to my right or left to see it. But when I came out for some reason, I saw it just chilling over here. So, Japan, right? Is this water beautiful? Oh my god, I've just that's fine. I'm gonna pick it up in a second. Is the water one really nice painting actually? And then there's Figment, absolutely loving life on the waves. Like, look at him, he's so happy. Right, Morocco is our next pavilion, and I couldn't be happier about this fact. Not only because obviously Morocco is my favorite pavilion in the world showcase, but also because I feel like Morocco is gonna be the place where I'm gonna have my lunch today. Hello, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, Marie, I'm sorry. That's amazing. How are you? I'm fabulous, thank you. How did we just happen to be in the same area? I was walking that way, I guess. Oh, you, you went from up. Canada? Yeah, yeah, I'm going from Canada. Mexico. Uh, Have you had your lunch right. already? I had my lunch. Yeah. restaurant? Yeah, I did, yeah. Was it really good? Um, yeah, it's good. The meat wasn't good. I'd get falafel if I Ah, fair dues, yeah. fair dues. I was hoping to get something there. Um, I'm yeah. like, I've got four to, four to go, so hopefully I'll be able to make it on time. Also, all of these paintings are figment. Did you yes. know that? It's so annoying. So you, that, you know, the ones that you find, it's figment. Yeah, I remember the Mona Lisa ones. I hate them. Oh. <laughs> anyway, see you Good later. Luck. So that was amazing Friends. and fun. Oh. Welcome. That just gave me a little fright. Several yeah, that was really fun. Uh, Bumming it to Marie. It was a bit scary as well because I thought I didn't obviously realize it was her. You would have seen it on the vlog. Um, she's clearly gone from the other way around today, from Canada rather than Mexico. We met halfway through, more or less. Um, yeah, so now we're in Mexico. No, sorry, we're in uh, Morocco, which is absolutely beautiful. Tangerine Cafe is where Marie has her lunch, which is where I'm probably going to go and have lunch right now as well. Uh, I haven't been here or into this restaurant, into this quick service restaurant since 2015. Me and my friend Rebecca came twice on that trip and loved it a lot like on that trip we didn't have the dining plan so i mean we had the dining plan but it wasn't the kind of big one so it was only quick service like um so really we're very limited to like burgers and chips so when we found this it was just nice to be able to eat something that's a little bit different to burgers and chips obviously when you're in a normal dining plan like on this trip we have so many great meals table service meals that it's not as like i'm not as desperate to have something different but i just really enjoy this restaurant so that's the first thing we're going to do before we go on our adventure this looks amazing it's exactly what i wanted fact of the day guys the current time at the moment is 1.30 p.m. This is the first thing I've put in my mouth today in terms of edible stuff. It's my first meal of the day. I, had, I didn't have breakfast. Well, that was marvellous. I am so full right now. I've got my apple juice here as well. And for some reason, they put it in like one of the Coke cups. And at first, I was like, I wasn't even sure if it was apple juice. And if you don't know, guys, I don't like Coke. I don't like fizzy drinks. I don't, I don't ever drink Coke or Pepsi or any of that stuff. And so I was very confused. I was like, um, it's apple juice. And they were like, yeah, it is. And it is. I've just tasted it. It's definitely apple juice. They just for some reason decided to put it in one of these um, paper cups. Okay, so we're at the restaurant now, and it's time to go and continue our venture into finding some artworks around the World Showcase in Epcot. Obviously, we're in Morocco, so I'm pretty sure that the one that we're going to be finding here is this one here. Um, if you guys can see it. Um, <coughs> My voice, Lord have mercy. So, yeah, I don't really actually know where to go, to be honest. Uh, maybe one of the shops. It could be anywhere. Nope, nothing here. Okay, so Jasmine is doing a meet and greet over there. She's looking absolutely marvellous, loving life. And then, just right next to her, we've got the things in here. Thank you very much. I got some help for this one, by the way, guys, because I felt like it might be in this shop. I don't know why, I just had a feeling it might be in the shop. I just couldn't find it. As always, I just don't look properly. Um, but yeah, also because I'm running a bit out of time as well. I've only got about half an hour before I need to finish this because we, we're actually flying back to London tonight. We need to go back to the hotel. So that was it. The lovely cast member over there. I was just like, can you just give me a hint? And she was like, maybe you should go and have a look at Jasmine and see what she's doing. So I went towards her and I saw it. So that's great. We can now stick this on the thing. Okay, so we've got Morocco down. Only three to go. And the next pavilion we're going to right now is going to be France. France is another relatively big pavilion. So... I'm not quite sure where to go. It does have quite a lot of shops though. Um, this is basically a Chef de France, it's a restaurant, so it definitely won't be in there because it's a restaurant, it's a sit-down restaurant, so they wouldn't put it somewhere where not everybody could go, if that makes sense. Um, those are the, oh, the, yeah, those are the shops, I think, over there. I'm gonna go and have a look at all of 
them. There's quite a few of them and hopefully it will be somewhere over there unless I'm completely missing it as it's somewhere here and I'm just not seeing it. So if you guys can see anything behind me, let me know. Also, I believe Aurora. Oh, she's there. Aurora's doing a meeting with me over there. I'm going to try and zoom on her. She's loving. Oh, look at her. Her dress is actually so beautiful. I love her pink dress. Um, obviously, Aurora is French. That's why she's in the French pavilion. Ooh. I actually really like the French pavilion as well, the France pavilion, because it's pretty accurate in terms of like there's loads of like small streets and everything, and you go from one shop and you come out of the other one. It's very, it's very immersive. It's one of the best designed ones, if that makes any sense. All just aside, all the pavilions here are just all the most serious typical things that you can find from every country. None of them are actually completely accurate, of course, because you know basically they've taken everything out of France that like people would recognise France from, and they've put them in the French pavilion. Same with England, same with Canada, same with Norway, same with all of them. Um, I've come to one of the bigger shops now and I'm hoping it might be here. I have no clue. Ooh, this is taking me a long time, guys, this one. It always makes me laugh when I finally find these paintings. Um, the French one was in the shop that I was going to, but it's in a very, very random place. So this is what we're looking for, uh, this beautiful painting here. Oh, Lord have mercy. And I'm pretty sure I might be wrong. Oh, I might be wrong. No, I'm pretty sure it's this. There you go. Figment's just loving life over here. Behind this lovely cast member who's doing some art. But there you go. We've got that. This is here. Hello. I've just found this and I'm very happy. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go and put this now on my map. We are about to enter the UK pavilion and as the two paintings I've got left here, I have a feeling, I don't know, just a guess, that the England one is going to be this one, or British one I have to say, because it's the UK. That includes Scotland as well, Northern Ireland and Wales. The UK pavilion is what makes me realise how stereotypical all these pavilions actually are because this is definitely not what the UK looks like. I mean, some parts of it, some of the small villages might look like this, but overall this is not like it's not the UK if you go to the UK and expect this you're not gonna find this it's so weird being surrounded by all these like UK merch everywhere it kind of feels like in one of the London tourist shops actually I'll give you that um, Epcot you have done that quite accurately joke aside this one's proven to be quite difficult as well because literally just as I said that I found it <sighs> why why Sam why do I just not look properly before getting my camera out so there you go this is Mr. Figment, just casually pretending to be some kind of royalty. And this is the um, sticker that we've got. I don't know how well, how I like it actually look, to be fair. I don't know. Look at his expression though, he's literally loving life. I was about to say, the reason I thought it was quite going to be quite difficult, I mean, I've been looking for a few minutes, is because there's loads of uh, stuff on the walls in the, most of the shops here in the UK pavilion. And like loads of artwork as well, of actual, like, princes and stuff and I was like oh none of these are figments and then I found it right at this corner of the shop the shop is kind of mainly over there so not many people would bother to look at this place only if you're about to leave and I only looked at it because I was about to vlog so thank you to you guys I found it right let's quickly do this guys so England painting this one here let's peel it off it's our second to last one our penultimate one and put it on the United Kingdom Oh, that's about to start very badly. Also, sorry that I keep calling it England. It's definitely the United Kingdom. It's the UK pavilion. I don't want like Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland to feel left out. I just for some reason because I live in England, I keep calling it England. But it's definitely the UK pavilion, so not just England. <laughs> I'm just going to that shop, guys, and Mary Poppins is just chilling over there. Of course she is, because she's British and we're in England. <laughs> by the music in the background and we are on the lookout for the final painting which is this one over here now Canada again I'm not very familiar with I've never been to Canada obviously but also the pavilion here I'm not familiar with I don't spend a lot of time here in fact I've hardly spent any time here I always just kind of walk through it uh, the last time I spent a little bit of time in it was because I was doing the egg hunt um, last Easter in March check out the vlog for that if you want to down below but um, yeah, I have no, absolutely no clue where to go and find this painting, so it might be a struggle. Seeing as most of them have been in shops though, like literally 95% of the ones I've found so far have been in the shops, I'm going to assume that this might be a good way to go. I've decided I have just very good instinct because this is the very first shop I came to, I walked into in Canada, 
and it's just over here. I did have to ask for some help from the guard over here who kindly offered it to me. I literally though, I just want to show you how stupid I am because this is the door of the shop. Um, this is the first shop, it's not, it's not even an interesting place, it's the first shop that I came to from down there. Um, so I just went into it, just double checked. I didn't think it would be in it because it's quite a small shop. I went in there, had a quick look like that and I was like, I can't see anything. And obviously I was a bit short for time so I was like, can you give me a tip please as to, or a hint as to where it could be? And it was like, you're very close. And I was like, okay. Started walking a bit and I was like, Lord have mercy. It's just over there and I feel like an idiot. But look at it. There we go. I've got a figment, loving life, just walking through the woods. And that's the original painting here on the sticker. If it decides to focus, it probably won't. You're just going to have to deal with it, guys. Sorry. And it's time to put the final one on our map. So that's the painting. I can't believe we've done this, guys. This is so exciting. We've done it together. Let's not forget. You guys have genuinely helped me. If I wasn't vlogging, this would not have been possible. Um, there you go. I did it very badly, but the whole thing is now complete. How exciting. I think we did it in about an hour and a half or nearly two hours. Although I did obviously rest for a bit as well. Um, joke aside, I found this a bit easier than the egg one that I did last year. Like I said, if you want to watch that, go and do that. But the thing is with eggs, because they're eggs, they can put them literally everywhere. But I feel like with these, because they're paintings, literally like I think at nine or ten out of eleven of them were in the shops because they have to be um, on walls or something they have to actually be somewhere and I feel like it definitely took me less time to do this one as well like last time I had to ask for help quite a bit and it was just taking ages for some of them because because they were eggs some of them were like literally up somewhere in, in like in the outdoors some of them literally I remember one of them in I think Italy was up on one of the buildings so you, you wouldn't have seen it unless you actually looked up so that was more difficult but this was also very fun I think I should probably prefer this one because it was just more easy and sometimes you just want things to be easy you don't want a challenge and today I didn't feel like a massive challenge I just want like a tiny challenge and that's exactly what I've got. So I believe we can get something if we finish this. I'm not completely sure, but I'm gonna go back to that pin shop and see if they're gonna do anything. Are you serving as well? Or? Oh, to trade this? Yeah, basically I've just completed yeah. this, so wondering what happens after. So which one do you want to pick from one to four? Oh, okay. Um, that is so exciting. Can I please go? Oh, Lord have mercy. Well, there was an addition as well, guys. Uh, we'll go for the, I think the green one looks quite cute. Can I go for the green one with the art thing? Thank you very much. There you go. Thank you very much. Yay, oh I can keep that as well. That's amazing, thank you. So this is the pin I decided to go for guys. There were four of them and I went for this one just because I really enjoyed the little um, hidden Mickeys on the palette, on the art palette. I just think it's really cute. And I mean, of course they were going to be figments. I knew that because it's figments. It's Figment's Park, really, Epcot, and it's fine. I don't hate the guy that much. He's he's all right, and he looks quite cute in this one, actually. And I just enjoy the pin. It's limited edition, so yeah, well done, guys. High five to you guys for helping me out on this journey. I'm actually very happy with the present, with the prize that you get on this as well. You get a limited edition pin. That's amazing. Like I may not like Ep um, Figment, but the fact that it's a pin is just amazing, and it's accessible to the arts in 2018. Last time, again, if you're going to watch back the video of that, my Easter egg hunt from March of last year. Um, the presents, the prize that you got at the end, even though I thought it was actually harder, were just like eggs, like plastic eggs. I mean, they were cute, and I still have mine, but um, I think I got a Woody one as well, because obviously Woody is my favorite uh, character in the whole world. But I feel like pins are just so sought after, they're such a good price to have, so I'm very, very happy right now. But that is the end of the video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I had a great time, a great couple of hours, just going around the park, the World Showcase area, which is my favorite part of Epcot, looking at everything and just, you know, enjoying life and finding things and getting excited every time I find a new figment for some reason. It's just ironic because I don't like the guy and I got excited every time I saw him because, I, you know, that was a challenge, if you know what I mean. Leave comments down below, let me know if you've ever done something like this in any other parts of the world. I know in Disneyland, California, there's something similar when it comes to Easter and I believe maybe another time of year as well. And obviously Disney World is at for Easter and also now for the Festival of the Arts as well. And it's very exciting. I hope that one day Disneyland Paris starts to do something like this as well. It's just fun. I know everyone loves their inner child going out and trying to find things. Searching for things is always very fun. I definitely recommend this. If you're here, especially if it's the first time actually, if it's the first time in Webcard, um, I feel like it's a good way of like 
adventuring and going around the world showcase because it kind of almost forces you to actually go everywhere um, because you have to find the, the stuff and for this is like myself like if I if I wasn't doing this challenge I would never have gone to parts of the Canada Canadian uh, pavilion I only went there because I was looking for them but I wouldn't have discovered half the things that I have now for instance in France or Morocco even but because you're looking for these um, uh, art works or eggs when it's Easter time you, you know you're going to all these places and it makes you I don't know it makes it makes it fun because you see more stuff and it's a, I think it's a really good way of um, exploring uh, the World Showcase in Epcot for the first time thanks so much for watching as always guys leave comments down below about anything you want uh, watch out for my Disney World vlogs coming up soon. They might already be up. Some of them, they're in different parts. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!